Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to calculate the transformer size for particular commercial building or industry. Okay, so before we start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming video. So let's get started. So here we have a some steps for sizing the transform so in first step we have to calculate the total connected load of the building or industry okay then second step we have to add 10 percent load okay 10 percent load to the final calculated total connected load for future consideration so this is for 10 percent is safety factor we might be increase our load in future that's why we have to add 10 percent load while we are designing or sizing transformer okay and after that in a step 3 we have to calculate the maximum demand load based upon the demand factor okay so actually what is this uh, maximum demand load because uh, we we will not always switch on the whole load whole total connected load so at a time generally we consider for commercial building 80 percent load is on okay while 20 percent load will be switch off okay so this is the maximum demand load okay so that's why first we have to that's why in step 3 we have to calculate the maximum demand load okay then step 4 if our calculated maximum demand load is kilowatt then we have to convert it into kva which is apparent power okay because our transformer rate is our transformer is rated in kva okay that's why we have to convert this kilowatt into kva then step 5 calculate the transformer capacity with 90 percent efficiency or we can say taking derating factor which is 0 0.9 as per this efficiency okay then finally select the transformer size as per calculated value from the transformer selection chart so we have a se selection charts there we have a rating from lower to higher so among uh, this chart we have to select the transformer size okay now let's follow these steps one by one okay so in steps what we have to do we have to calculate the total connected load so here i'm considering hotel building okay so here we are going to calculate the transformer size for this hotel building okay so this is under the commercial building we can say so here we have assumed some uh, loads for this building so raw power load is 80 kilowatt and lighting load is 100 kilowatt and plumbing load is 110 kilowatt and elevator load is 40 kilowatt and dg auxiliary load is 3 kilowatt okay now if we sum this it will become 333 kilowatt so this is our total connected load of this hotel building okay now in step 2 what we have to do we have to add 10 percent safety factor we have to add 10 percent extra load to the final calculated total connected load for future consideration we might be increased in the future that's why we have to add 10 percent extra load okay so this is for safety factor. now let's calculate this extra load 10 percent extra load of this final cal so here we have already calculated in previous steps so this is our total connected load of this building and so 10 percent extra Extra load of this total connected load so 10 into 310 uh, into this load 333 kilowatt divided by 100 now if we calculate this one it will become 33.3 kilowatt so this is our extra load 10 percent extra load now what we'll do will sum it to this total connected load so finally final total connected load is now become 366.3 kilowatts so this is our final calculated total connected load okay now we are going to in a step three so in a step two what we have to do we have to calculate the maximum demand load based upon the demand factor so here we considered a uh, demand factor for commercial building is 80 percent okay so this is for thumb load we generally consider our load is 80 percent on at maximum and uh, 20 percent are off okay so we will not switch on the all loads at a time okay that's why we have to size the transformer as per this demand load maximum demand load okay so here this is our final calculated total connected load 366.3 kilowatt okay and 
our demand factor is so maximum demand load as per 80 percent demand factor is so 80 by 100 80 by 100 into 366 366.3 now if we calculate this it will become 293.04 kilowatt okay so this is our final calculated maximum demand load so this is our maximum demand load now we can see that here if we calculate the transformer size as per this value if we select so this is bigger size as compared to this so if we select this transformer size as per this load so our transformer size will be big as compared to this so this will be waste of money okay so this will become oversizing of transformer okay now here we have calculated maximum demand load so this is maximum demand load okay now this is in kilowatt now we will have to convert this into kva so in a step 4 here we are going to convert kilowatt into kva or calculated maximum demand load which is in uh, kilowatt now we'll, we are going to convert it into kva so this is our maximum demand load which is 293.04 kilowatt okay this is in 80 power now to convert it into to uh, kva what we have to do simply we have to divide this by our power factor we, here we have taken 0 0.8 so let's divide it by 0 0.8 so 293.04 divided by 0 0.8 now it will become 366.3 kva so this is our maximum demand in kva okay now in a step 5 here we are going to calculate the transformer capacity or size we can say with the 90 percent efficiency or we can say 0 0.9 derating factor okay so what it means we only if our transformer is suppose let's say 100 kba if its efficiency is 90 percent or we can say 0 0.9 derating factor so it means we only to connect it over 90 kba load we will not connect it to 100 kba because its efficiency is 90 percent if we connect it to 95 kba which is more than 90 kba it means this is overloaded okay so this will not it on this efficiency level okay that's why we have to select the transformer size with the 90 percent efficiency okay so here our calculated maximum demand load is the now for 80 percent so what we are we are going to do here simply we'll divide this by 0 0.9 which is derating factor okay 90 percent efficiency now this will become 407 kb okay 407 kb so this is the calculated transformer capacity so this is the final calculated of transformer size okay 407 kb here if we uh, select our transformer size as per this load maximum demand load without considering this derating factor or 90 percent efficiency what happened we will not unable to uh, connect this load to the transformer because uh, we only to apply connect the load across 90 percent of it so this is not proper operation of this transformer that's why we have to consider this efficiency or we can say derating factor okay now if we uh, now here our calculator size is 407 kb so this is bigger than this maximum demand load okay now if we connect this full load maximum demand load over here it means our load our transformer is at 90 percent efficiency okay connected it 90 percent load okay so this is our calculated transformer size now what we have to do in final step so this is our calculated so we may not find exact value exact size of this transformer in the market that's why we have to select the transformer size from this selection chart so this is the our calculated transformer size 407 so this is our uh, calculated transformer capacity 407 kva now let's uh, select it from this chart so we always select uh, bigger than this value not under than this value so here this is the range of transformer from 10 kva to 5000 kva so which is uh, 400 so no this is the uh, under value of this one calculated one so we always go for higher than this so here we have a 500 kb now uh, we go for 500 kb so our uh, final proposed transformer size is 500 kva so this is our uh, transformer size for this 
hospital building okay so in this way we can calculate the transformer size of any uh, buildings or industry as per our load so if we follow these steps we can easily find out the transformer size for the any particular your premises okay so hope you guys understand about this transformer sizes okay so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video